Normally, new leaders get this in the first few days, relishing the pomp and pageantry found in their opening meetings with foreign leaders. Boris Johnson has taken 29 days after becoming Prime Minister to leave British shores, a reflection of the fact that this Prime Minister is doing foreign policy like none of his predecessors in modern times. At first glance, in tone at least, Angela Merkel appeared to promise to listen to ways to make the backstop, the insurance policy to avoid a hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic, surplus to requirement, perhaps even within a month. The backstop has always been a fallback position. If one is able to solve this conundrum, if one finds this solution, we say we said we will probably find it in the next two years to come, but we can also maybe find it in the next 30 days to come. It was an offer of help. It was not, however, a promise to take it out of the withdrawal agreement, which Boris Johnson has committed to back home, prompting the immediate question, what ideas might he have up his sleeve? Boris Johnson, Angela Merkel has just asked you whether you're going to put forward specific plans to solve the Northern Ireland question. Are you and can you spell them out for us now? Yeah, Sam, obviously uh, we, will, we do think that there are alternative arrangements that uh, could readily be uh, used to address the problem of frictionless trade at the Northern Irish uh, border, and you'll have heard them before, whether it's trusted uh, trader schemes or electronic pre-clearing, all that type of solution, and, and uh, more besides, is what we will be uh, wanting uh, to discuss. Boris Johnson made clear that no part of his plan would involve putting up a hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic. But Angela Merkel was unable to give the same commitment, saying all sides are still looking for solutions. There were smiles, jokes, but nobody was pretending this was easy and tensions did surface at times. We seek a deal and I believe that we can get one. We can do it. Wir schaffen das, I think is the, is the phrase. But clearly... <laughs> That was Boris Johnson saying, we can do it, a phrase with unfortunate connotations, as was clear from her face. Chancellor Merkel was criticised for using the remark at the height of the migrant crisis. Standing in front of these flags, Angela Merkel sounded as helpful as is possible without deviating from Europe's hard line. Addressing dear Boris, she even made it sound like she'd be prepared to negotiate. But both sides know there is a long way to go before real progress is made. The Bundestag, the parliament here in Berlin, is pretty united against Mr Johnson getting his way, just as opponents back in Westminster have been joining forces today. And the problem for Boris Johnson is that even if Angela Merkel alone wanted to help, the rest of the EU couldn't be more clear in their resistance, meaning the conversation sometimes feels like it's going round in circles. I don't think that this agreement is going to be reopened because 27 EU members are against it. So is Angela Merkel, and she said so today and in the previous days. Boris Johnson could be forgiven for thinking some of the protests which dog him at home had followed him to Berlin. And the criticism will undoubtedly follow him to Paris tomorrow. On the eve of his arrival, President Macron was denouncing Mr Johnson on Brexit, saying no deal would be Britain's fault. This could be about to get trickier.